Okay, you're gonna need to wear this today. Why? Same reason you're wearing those steel-toed things. Because we're headed into that place. An industrial sand mine. To decode the science and impacts of what really goes on there. And because we need real answers. Look, there are two kinds of scientists. Pseudoscientists who get an idea in their head, then look for little information to support it. Duh! Then are the real scientists. The ones who investigate the science first and investigate the facts. Which one do you want to be? Real, of course. And to be real, we've got these passes. That's why we'll be recording and asking questions about the stuff that really matters. You know, what's the impact on our environment? Uh, do you think they'll really answer our questions? Wouldn't you if you had a camera recording your answers? We'll get them, all right. Are you getting all this back at Mission Control? I wonder what's going on with the feed today. You know, it might be that old modulator. I have to get that thing checked out. <laughs> oh, yep, got signal feeds coming in now. Whoa, that right there is not your schoolyard sandbox. G good luck, guys. Oh, and don't settle for that cutesy tour either. We need investigative answers. Critical question. What is sand used for? Used for? How does it impact your life? What is, what is the geometry? Here's the plan. You guys are gonna go on your tour while I dig deeper into this industrial sand thing. You know, it kinda looks like they're mining something precious down there. Hmm, it's just sand, right? Let's see what they use it for. Uses for industrial sand, silica. Silica? SiO2? Hey, that's quartz! the most common silica crystal and the second most common mineral on Earth. But why would that be so valuable? Okay, use is coming online. Whoa, chill on the feeds. Oh, they want clean quartz sand, almost 95% silica. No wonder, they make all kinds of glass with it, from car windshields, to light bulbs, to glass jars, to test tubes. Guess that's legit. And they use it in making metal castings from car engine blocks to sinks and faucets. They even use it in making the metal alloys that they pour into sand molds. Didn't figure that. Chemical production? Hold on, it's sand. Oh yeah, silica-based chemicals for making stuff from cleaning products, to fiber optics. Huh. Construction materials that build our homes and cities, the roadways connecting them, sealants, caulks, paints, coating, ceramic products, toilets, tableware, floor and wall tile, drinking water filtration, golf courses, athletic fields, and <gasps> oil and gas recovery? You know, frac sand. Got signal feeds coming in now! But I'm wondering if we'd be getting any of it at all without the silica sand. No cell phones, no cameras, no truck. We might have to rethink some of this. Okay, we get the picture. We'd be living in huts eating bugs without that sand. Who would have thought? So yeah, we admit we need it. It's important. It's valuable. So sure, they have to mine it somewhere. But why here? Beaches and deserts have tons of sand. That's what the scientists are for. The sand deposit here is dominated by very pure quartz sandstone. The abundance of the round sand grains is what makes it so unique. It may look like stuff you see in a sandbox, but Jamie explained why it's so rare. Well, first, because of the silicon oxygen atoms that make up pure silica quartz, it's one of nature's hardest minerals. And after a billion years of being churned in an ancient sea, all the impurities got washed away while the sand grains became rounded and sorted into these uniform spheres. This rare silica sand layer was deposited in an ancient sea 500 million years ago. It used to be right here in parts of Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Illinois. 
And because this particular sandstone is only exposed at the surface in some places, it makes sites like Tunnel City very important. It's hard to believe that nature can make something that cool and perfect. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about when I say impurities? No. See the different colors in there? The, the blacks and the oranges and the yellows? Yeah. yeah. They're just different types of minerals. That's what we consider impurities. The silica is the very, very clear round grains that you can tell. Uh, okay. We take off the first 80 feet, roughly, and set it aside for later reclamation. After that, we mine the next 60 feet. Of that 60 feet, only about half of it meets our specifications. Oh, sorry, Mission Control's calling. We gotta go. Sorry. Ah, oh, another hazard of being a sand miner. Nah, just another day at the prehistoric beach. Now it's your turn to consider this.